I'm Jasmine Ryan with the River Hawks Sports Update. NSU women's basketball has beaten four top 25 teams so far this season. Senior guard Taylor Lewis led her team in scoring in the win over number nine ranked Washburn 52 to 43 Saturday afternoon. Here's Zach with Lewis after the game. Um, obviously it's a great win to beat a ranked team. A conference win, I think that's the most important. I mean, ranked or not, getting wins in the conference is what's most important to us. This puts you guys at 12-5 uh, and five on the year. You got a big game coming up this Wednesday, this Wednesday night here at home against your arch rival, Pitt State. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing to prepare for them. Um, Coach will just prepare us, give us the game plan. We'll do what we need to do as a team. Um, we won't so much worry about what they're going to do. Coach will give us what we need to do, and we'll go out there and try and get a win. All right, Pitt State took you guys out last year here at this court in the regional tournament. What um, Are you looking to get revenge, or tell me, tell me what you think about Pitt State? I think there's a little bit of revenge there. I mean, we've kind of got a little rivalry going. Obviously, we want to make up for that. We don't want to have that as our last memory. And, you know, especially me and Tosh and Sarah, our senior year, obviously it would be great to go and get a win against them. The Lady Hawks defeated number 18-ranked Pitt State Wednesday night. These two teams met three times last year, and the Gorillas put NSU out of the NCAA tournament in the second round. This win was a sweet victory as the Lady Hawks finished off the Gorillas 65-50. Senior guard Tasha Tyler led the team in scoring with 19 points. Here's what she had to say after the game. So Tasha, how does it feel to beat Pitt State? <laughs> oh, it feels amazing. You know, they beat us out of the tournament last year, and so we just kind of felt like we needed to make a statement and come out and play hard and kind of let them know how we felt about that. In the beginning of the game, you guys were tied throughout most of the first half. What did Coach tell you at halftime to make you guys come out really strong? Uh, I think he just kind of gave us a reminder that they weren't going to go away. You know, they're a good team. They're going to keep playing hard, and they want to beat us just as bad as we want to beat them. So he just kind of let us know that we couldn't stop. So what was your motivation before the game? That's a – I don't know. I have a lot of motivations. You know, it's my senior year. I want to try to play as, and make every minute count. Um, I – wanted to, you know, like I said, come out and make a statement against Pitt, and we love playing in our home gym. It's just, you know, the last few games in Jack Dobbins, there's a lot of motivation going on. NSU men's basketball made a complete turnaround from only winning four games a year ago. The Hawks added to their winning record 13-4 Wednesday night after defeating Pitt State 64-62 with a layup from junior guard Brighton Hobbs with 6.6 .6 seconds left to play. Hobbs led the team with 23 points and received MIAA Athlete of the Week. Also, junior guard Marcus Shepard received Riverhawks Player of the Week. NSU Baseball was selected to finish 11th in the MIAA preseason poll, and women's softball were picked 9th. I'm Jasmine Wright, and this has been your Riverhawks Sports Update.